Can I help you? Baby, huh? <laughs> That's a cute nickname for me. What was it yesterday? Adonis Casanova, winner of all the sexy times. Hmm? Oh, you want me to lean down so you can tell me off all soft? Of course, anything for you, dearest love. Hey, is that guy staring daggers at me right now bothering you? Do you know him? Alright, don't worry sweetheart, I got you. Do you need a ride home or someone to walk with you? Walk here? Sure, me too. Alright, go on, take my arm. There you go. Come on. You doing okay, sweetheart? No, I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't. Situations like that are terrifying. You did the right thing, though. Running to someone else or the bartender to throw them off is a good, solid tactic. I've taught it for years. What do I do for a living? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. I see you eyeing up the leather pants and big old biker boots. And is that... Ah, uh, a bit of intrigue at my unkempt shaggy mane? Or is it because I fucked up my eyeliner a little? If so, feel free to laugh. Fine, fine. I'm a safety instructor. I teach self-defense techniques and just generally try to confuse old folks. How, you may ask? By dressing as goth as possible and then doing things like coaching soccer, refurbishing houses. Oh, and the best one. Making the best summer cookout brisket. <laughs> yeah. My profession is why I realize what you needed so quickly. <laughs> no need to be grateful, sweetheart. I'm going to pretend to be your boyfriend for however long this walk lasts. Oh? You think I'm smooth, huh? Well, I suppose statistically at least one person has to. <laughs> so, how's about you? What do you occupy your days with? Ooh, someone likes challenging work too, huh? <laughs> I respect it. There's something about having to fight a little bit every day, right? I try not to admit that sometimes. I sort of hope some of these people will pick a fight with me so I can play the hero. Just a little. Kinda pathetic, huh? Nah, I don't really care about how I look. I just want to remind them that they can, in fact, be laid out if they want to fuck around and find out. Once had a lady that was, for lack of a more polite term, Batshit insane. She wanted to get at her ex-boyfriend more than a swarm of locusts wanted to get at some tasty corn stalks. I mean, she was swinging a nail file. Stabbed me right in the fucking hip. <laughs> oh, it definitely hurt. Totally worth it, though. Towering over her and looking unimpressed apparently knocked some sense into her. Never wanted to punch a lady. Or anyone, really. But I had to crack my knuckles and do a little bit of mean mugging. Ma'am, you need to leave this donut chain and get psychiatric help. Basically. Don't know if she got that help. Sure hope so. That poor man was terrified. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm probably going to just straight up get shot one of these days. Or stabbed in the kidney. A lot of people out there decide that anyone in their way is just coffin fodder. <sighs> Still... I don't think I could walk away. Being in a crisis like that, you need someone willing to step in. Otherwise, it's easy to panic and give them control. People like that, yeah. So, how long was that guy following you? Ugh, gross. You should probably file a police report. Assholes tend not to take stalking seriously, though, but at least you'll have it on file. 
should probably put up some security cameras as well if you can spring them. Or I could sleep over, true. <laughs> you are a bold one, you know that? I don't get a lot of ladies brave enough to just flirt with me. Or guys. Hell, sometimes the guys are a thousand times more nervous. <laughs> Have a soft spot for the big protective sort? Hell, why not? Hi, I'm Wolf. Nice to meet you. So, you want a summer wedding or a fall one? Oh, please, you are so an autumn wedding sort. But whatever wifey wants, wifey shall receive. Oh, sure, we can get a dog. So long as it's from a shelter and not a puppy mill. And a cat companion, of course. Where do you want a honeymoon? Ah, good choice. You have great taste, my insanely hot fiancé. Hey, can I wear a steampunk tuxedo? Hell yeah, you can wear a funeral dress. Mini taco bar? Oh yeah, from Miguel's, obviously. So, what's our special song? Uh, th that's my favorite song. I mean, I'm sure it's a coincidence. It's a really popular song from a band with like eight followers on social media who plays at local bars. Before you ask, no, I'm not stalking you, and I'm pretty sure you're not stalking me. Can you imagine? It'd be like the pointing meme. <laughs> oh no, and you're a meme lord too. <laughs> Jeez. Did we just become soulmates or some nonsense? Hey, I already proposed. <laughs> what do you just want to ask me out? <laughs> yes, huh? Alright, alright, I'm game. You're a little spitfire, huh? That guy got lucky that you were on the smarter, less violent side. And I bet you could have laid his ass out, huh? He... had a knife? <sighs> okay, yeah. I'll hang out tonight. If you feel safe having some buff stranger in your house anyway. Damn! You mind less because I'm hot? You mean to tell me you would have let that guy shiv you if he were hotter? <laughs> Goodness, you are a wild one. Do me a favor though, okay? Make sure you let some friends or family know I'm here. Take a picture of me if you feel it'd help. I want to make sure people know that I'm here and I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. That, and I'll act as a witness when you file the report, alright? Hey, I am, if anything, not a creep. Oh, this is your building? Alright, come on. Huh. This place is only moderately run down. Very nice, my friend. place. Oh, what? Is that a black void staring at me? Or a particularly fat black cat? Hey, buddy. Hey, pretty thing. Oh, he's a grumpy biter, huh? Well, he seems friendly to me. <laughs> Don't take it personally. I volunteer with animals sometimes, and I think I have an aura around me that draws them in. Isn't that right, buddy? Yes, give me that muffin head. Oh, you have a whittle muffin head too, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> eh, all cats have a little bit of asshole to their personality, don't worry. Eh, right, it's one in the morning. I'll hang out on the couch and then go down with you to the station to file a report. You got a spare blanket? Thank you, my new friend. <laughs> I'll try not to snore too loudly. Do I think it's weird we're acting this close after just meeting? Eh, nah, not really. I don't know why, but I feel comfortable around you. 
The same, huh? <laughs> well. Good. Go get some respite fire. I'll see you in the, um, later morning. <laughs> What's up, Wolfpack? It's Wolf Zero back with another video. Did I just say Wolfpack? Did I accidentally use my old fucking intro? <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, this channel used to be a gaming channel a long time ago. Tried YouTube way back when, didn't work out quite well, so I kind of just stopped. My intro back then was, what's up Wolfpack, it's Wolf Zero back with another video, and I'm thinking about bringing that back because it sounded really nice to say, almost nostalgic kind of. So yeah, it sounded nice. Uh, but anyway, this is another Reddit script by Esma Jones. This was a very cute script. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't normally read scripts all the way through the first time. I kind of just like read the first couple paragraphs and then be like yep i like this and then just start recording i so i had no idea uh how this was going to turn out i just saw the word delinquent in the list of tags and was just like yep i know how this is going to turn out nope <laughs> this was a surprisingly really sweet script so thanks esma for writing it uh in other news i'm gonna try and get back into improving my scripts I uh, actually used to improv a lot of my scripts until I suddenly just stopped. I got really nervous and kind of got out of it because it's a lot of me getting in my own head and shit like that. But it was also really fun coming up with new ideas for the story on the fly. So yeah, uh, the next script, what what's the Monday? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Uh, the next script is most likely going to come up on Wednesday, and I I really like the concept I have for it. It's uh, relatively unique, at least I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, anyway, uh, I really want to get back into improving scripts. I just think it leaves a lot of uh, room for creativity for me, and it just it felt really fun when I was doing it earlier. Uh, but yeah, other than that, there's not much else to report. Uh, thank you all for listening to this audio. Oh, and uh, before I forget, if you are a fan of my content, you will absolutely love all the uh, VAs that are over on the server that I'm a part of. Uh, it is a Discord server called the ASMR RP Lounge. Very amazing community. Just wonderful fucking people. These people will absolutely berate you with affirmations and positivity. They will not let you feel sorry for yourself. Like, it's truly an amazing group of people over there. And among those amazing people come a lot of amazing VAs, such as Xena of Messed Up Stories, Not Plus Zero, Lacey Audios, Anoni, Miss Bliss, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right, hopefully I did, <laughs> and so many other VAs. So, if you like my content, you will love theirs as well. So please, click, go into the description down below, click the link, and join the Discord. You will not regret it, I promise. Now, <laughs> with that... Thank you all for coming this far into the audio, and I will see y'all in the next video. Later.